Hi everyone, my name is Garmin from New Leaf Designs and in this video I'm going to show you my knitting and crochet journal. Um, each month I do a work in progress list which really helps me stay motivated to finish projects and when I showed it um, during a previous video I was asked how I made them so I'm gonna take you along with me. So here's my journal, it's a simple moleskin uh, journal. I think this was the first time that I did um, a work in progress list. I just got so overwhelmed so I wanted to just make a list <laughs> because that just really you know helps put things into perspective uh, and there were a lot and I even you know counted how many crochet whips how many knitted uh, works in progress um, yeah, but then I kind of continued to do that uh, almost every month. This one is for January of last year, uh, and then this one is for March, so obviously I didn't do February. But basically, I just write down um, the name of the project, and then I have a little progress bar, which, you know, uh, empty is 0% and full is 100% and I kind of just eyeball it every time it's it's not exact um, but yeah and then once I finish uh, a project I write done next to it and I I don't know <laughs> draw a little star or cloud shape around the number <laughs> and I've done this for pretty much every month last year I was very proud at this point because I think I, at some point I had 28 whips or something and then in September I had, well at the end of the month I had 15 so that was really, really nice. And then we have January, um, I have 14 and now it is February so time to start a new page. And I thought I'd take you along with me. And most of this is going to be a little bit repetitive. So I'll speed it up a little bit. So first I write down all of the names and I just copy them from the previous page and then leave out the ones that I finished, of course. Uh, and then I draw my little progress bars. color them in. Sometimes I check the previous page, but honestly it, it doesn't matter too much. Um, just some kind of visual representation. And that is basically it. So the way that this motivates me is just writing down those names every single month. Um, especially this pink bamboo top. I started that <laughs> maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, and I've just not finished it. I mean, I just lost interest and now I'm just debating whether to frog or whether to make it into something else. Um, same with the camouflage socks and the mosaic socks. It's just, they didn't turn out as I hoped, the, the first one, and now I don't really want to make the second one. Um, a lot of these are not um, current works in progress. Uh, the only ones I've worked on last month were the colorwork blanket, um, the Arcadia socks, and this baby blanket. 
um, so only three and then the one that I finished last month so <laughs> yeah so I don't actually work on 14 projects at a time um, but yeah, and then during the month, I will update this. And then at the end of the month, I'll um, draw this little box um, with the just sort of end um, statistic <laughs> for the month. And yeah, I highly recommend doing this. Um, I started at the end of 2022 and it's it's so simple but this has really really motivated me a lot because you just if you don't finish it you have to write down the name again for the next month and then you see that progress bar just you know being almost full and then you think oh well you know i could just sit down and finish it um or sit down and frog it and yeah <laughs> that's really all there is to it um, so I highly recommend trying it out um, if you do try do stick with it for at least uh, three or four months because otherwise you won't really notice um, if it has any effect on you and yeah I hope this was helpful um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in another video bye bye